الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد هبت في الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته yesterday we talked about uh, the importance of practicing and trying to do good deeds and that according to the minhajs the salaf al-salih radwan Allah alayhim for example thabata an amr ibn qais رحمه الله تعالى أنه قال إذا سمعت إذا سمعت شيئا من الخير فاعمل به وتكون من أهله ولو مرة رواه أحمد في الزهد بإسناد حسن so in a beautiful narration, the narration of uh, on uh, <clears throat> Amr bin Qais, rahimahullah ta'ala, in which he said that if you hear, if you hear something of good, then act upon it. And then be from its people, or you will be included from amongst its people, meaning the people who do those good that good deed. Even if you act upon it one time. So the shahid here, Habatifillah, is to increase your good deeds, increase your relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, increase uh, the khair. And if you hear some khair, you hear something perhaps in a lecture, perhaps as a reminder from someone you hear something of good then do your best to practice it strive strive your utmost to practice it even if it's at one time even if it's that one piece of advice you heard from the scholars that you act upon or from a talib al-ilm or from an imam or from a sheikh or from whoever that reminds you or just anyone who reminds you of khair Try to act upon that. Try to reflect upon that. Try to ponder upon that. Try to implement that in your life. Well, marra, even if it was one time. And this is how the Salaf were. They were really vigilant in trying to do good deeds. They weren't people of fitna. They weren't people of folda. They weren't people who busied the people with things that have very little import on their life. Or actually yadur. And we've talked about this uh, on more than one occasion. About al ilm can be ilm nafia uh, it could be ilm ghayr nafia and it could be ilm yudur you know it could be ilm nafia like beneficial knowledge you know something that's going to bring you closer to Allah that's going to increase your knowledge of Islam and the Islamic sciences or it could be ilm ilm ghayr nafia knowledge that really has no benefit you know it's it's something which is maybe it's permissible but it really doesn't have a lot of benefit for you to know all the stats of football and to know all the uh, MMA fighters on the roster and, and all their intricacies and their life stories and who fought this one and who fought this one. Or ilm yudur, knowledge that can actually harm you. That's the third category. And that's the category in which, <clears throat> for example, knowledge of seher, of a witchcraft, and of, uh, of Satanism, you know, satanic beliefs and rituals, um, you know, evil, and, and all kind of things, things that can actually harm you. Or knowledge of the shubahat of ahl bid'ah, sometimes that can yudur, sometimes that is knowledge that can, can harm you. That's why you don't go, when the people don't know about a bid'ah, you don't go introduce it to them, even as a refutation, because you may perhaps spread that bid'ah amongst those people. Maybe just a few of the weak-hearted begin to say, yeah, okay, I think it's good to make khruj, uh, you know, to rebel against the leader. Or yeah, those Khawarij ISIS-like beliefs, they have some good, uh, some good uh, you know, they really want us to go back to a Islam and adhere to the essence of jihad. You know, people are have different aqul, they have different intellect, and they take knowledge differently. So it's so important on how you convey knowledge, what you convey to the people, and knowing the level of the people. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Almighty, to accept our good and forgive our evil. Bless us with ilm and nafiyah.